Hi, uh, I'm Aditya. So this video is about how to use uh, GNU Radio Companion uh, in order to you know understand what it is doing or how to create basic SDR building blocks using various elements. Uh, so what we are going to do is uh, create a very basic uh, signal and deliver it to a TCP sync which is the final destination and on the other uh, other uh, file will create a TCP source which will listen for the other incoming signals and then will plot a graph for it which is a very simple program so let's uh, open up GNU radio companion so it starts with two basic uh, blocks which is options and variable so in the variable you can actually set uh, different values for now it's a sample rate which is set to 32,000 uh, you can change it accordingly uh, but let's say for now uh, what we'll do is we'll simply add a very basic signal source so let's say for uh, signal source in the waveform generators so we'll give it a sample rate of 32k uh, so it is directly grabbing it from this variable you can even change it or uh, let's say if you change the value over here to make it uh, maybe 8000 it will change accordingly so that's a really nice thing to have and apart from that uh, what we'll do is even for the frequency instead of setting a value over here we'll assign it a variable and we'll also create it as a slider so that we can uh, change the value when the program is being run so let me add a slider which is the wx GUI slider I'll add it over here uh, give it a IDF you don't need a label if you can just uh, refer to it with the ID and uh, let's say we give it a value uh, the default value let's say 1000 uh, the minimum value may be 500 the maximum let's say 10,000 um, I think that will be all so okay now these are our two blocks over here now the next thing we want to do is to have this go to some so this is the source and we want to go to make it go to a sink uh, before that let's our throttle uh, and throttle simply does what it's supposed to do just like the name signifies so it throttles the entire signal uh, depending on the sample rate so we'll take the out to the in over here and <clears throat> and from the throttle uh, let's say add a TCP sync over here right so let's add and let's make it listen to a port of 8899 okay so this is a very basic uh, the first file which generates a signal throttles it and then sends it to a TCP sync let's save it and let's save it to test uh, let's name it as generator and now uh, let's create another file which will actually receive it and then uh, show whatever is coming in so if you want to run it at this moment uh, you want to run it at this moment let me just change it so it works so just make sure you have these two elements from the same uh, wx GUI and not wx GUI and qt GUI. so otherwise it won't work so let's wait so if you notice in the uh, command prompt uh, or the terminal that comes along with GNU radio companion it shows that the connection is refused that is because there is nothing listening on 8899 uh, if we let's say set a wx GUI scope sync and maybe put over here disable this element let's also hide disable elements and then if you try to run it you see that we get this kind of a graph right and we can change the value of frequency and accordingly this graph will change 
and you can also uh, uh, mm, you can change different functions like have persistence and so on so this is how the graph should actually look like at 5k frequency uh, how does it look like at 2k frequency it looks something like this right so now what we are doing is instead of sending it directly to a sync, uh, what we can do is we can send it to a TCP sync and the new file that is created, what we'll do is we'll have a TCP source which will listen to this one, right? So let's uh, search for a TCP source. Uh, make it listen from all IV addresses, even though 127001 will work in this case, uh, but just for the sake of convenience. And the port is what the incoming port was, uh, like the outgoing port was in the previous uh, file. So we save it and then uh, we'll put it in a scope sync. A very basic program. Uh, then it will go from here to here. This is WX query. Let's save it as. Uh, uh, receiver .grc. right and now uh, if you open up the receiver it keeps on running uh, but you don't actually see anything right uh, but if you go to generator and you run this you see that you have this uh, FFT graph and you also have a slider which we mentioned which is pretty tough to resize yeah <clears throat> so you have the slider as well so you can change the frequency from here and change it so this is the first file and based on the frequency it will actually show you the graph accordingly uh, so this is a very basic example of how you use GNU radio companion in order to build basic building blocks uh, now in case you have a very complex signal coming in you can obviously add other elements from here uh, for example uh, you can even add some math operators like maybe multiply constant so that will be all for this video thank you